हेलो 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 Uh, a 
actually uh, in first match it was uh, Qatar to win and second match to the same uh, which is uh, won the second time this is the third match between Qatar and uh, Uganda here uh, earlier Uganda started innings and uh, they have fixed 135 is a target for the last of, uh, six wickets from 135 is a target with a target of 135, Qatar is uh, continuing their innings. It's a 47 for the last of four wicket. Uh, seems to be uh, again yet another uh, victory, maybe uh, yet another victory for Qatar. Uh, seems to be uh, uh, yeah, six overs have been found out. And uh, there are 20 more overs are yet to be found. Uh, seems to be a uh, yet another victory for Qatar. We will see uh, there are plenty of overs and uh, plenty of wickets in hand. Uh, so we will see what will be very many of the actions. Still, it's, uh, it's uh, only uh, uh, 75 runs are acquired in 83 balls. So Balls are beyond runs, required runs, and it's uh, 6.03 is the uh, required run rate uh, per over. We'll see what will be the relevant to the match. Actually, uh, Qatar here also have the potential and uh, they can also win over. Seems to be a very different match today. Then, uh, uh, Golda won the match. Uh, still, uh, they have reached only 134, so 135 is the target is quite chaseable and um, now it's Qatar to uh, continue their uh, strikes here. So it's 59. Uh, and then the then second batsman uh, open, uh, open, opening batsman is at the crease now. So stay tuned for the lot more news to come. Uh, so there seems to be a, a yet again a fantastic match for um, Yet again, a fantastic match for, uh, seems to be uh, a fantastic and winning match for Qatar. So, the batsmen are at the crease. Uh, Zahir, Brahman, and uh, Imal, the two batsmen who are well safe now at, at the time. So, we'll see. Who are all going to hit over? Zahir Rahim is already at the crease with the 29 runs, so he is a man uh, quite standing a long time at the crease. So, definitely, Qatar have the good chance, and again, uh, 3 nil, uh, they can have the potential to win over and uh, make it as a 3 nil. Uh, that is a possibility. So still, uh, it seems, seems to be a different uh, uh, scenario here. Uh, it seems to be a very different match today compared to the uh, earlier two matches. This might be a slight decline. So we'll see what will be the remaining those matches. Thanks for watching us this channel. Request to subscribe our channel. That's all. But not the same to your friends and family. Due to some technical difficulties, uh, the match has been uh, started today uh, as far as in our side. So, the second half only we can be able to, uh, uh, to give you the statistical data. So, stay tuned to the STB Expo channel. We will be right at the Ibrahim. Sathya uh, Vikrakin, who is uh, now at uh, 29 runs, is uh, doing a very good job for Qatar. We'll see what will be the remaining course. Normally, uh, when the opening batsman is set to, uh, Sam, uh, set to be uh, there at the long run for the team, definitely there might be yet another victory for Qatar. There won't be any second thought in that. So we'll see what will be the remaining course of action and uh, it seems to be very nice here and uh, the new batsmen with the 
existing opening batsman definitely uh, the team will give uh, more runs the team will get more runs definitely so we'll see what the eleven run per batsman thank you for uh, being uh, here it is at six runs now uh, the person uh, Zahir Abrahim who hit the first six of this innings so he got 38 runs in 27 balls six fours and one sixes so Kamran Khan who is already out and opening batsman is the person who got out uh, with uh, Charles uh, bowling attack so Imal Liamke the very good batsman uh, who scored very fantastic runs yesterday uh, day before so he is also in the crease so these two batsmen are uh, really um, they will get into the action so they can make uh, the task to win so 61 for one wicket so it's taking to the SKB score channel there may be a lot more to come it seems to be a different uh, scenario here. Uh, this is a third and final G20 match between Qatar and Uganda. Uh, in these three matches so far, again, yet another six. This time it is uh, by Kamran Khan who hit over. Uh, seems to be yet another six. So oh, sorry, it's uh, not coming up at the uh, end. Uh, six sixes, six fours, and one sixes so far by Zakir Mehtakum and uh, Imam Liyanke, who hit uh, one four so far. So these two batsmen will have the side of looking and uh, they will definitely lead Qatar to get uh, some more runs on the board definitely the 68 for the loss of one seems to be a different approach here uh, when compared to last two matches in the last second in the last second matches uh, in the last second in the last match uh, Imal Niyarke uh, contributed a very good performance for his team the same take over here also so Zakir so Ibrahim and uh, in North Niyarke, so definitely give a very good performance for Qatar and maybe it's Zakir Ibrahim is of the game. We need to go for another option, so definitely there is a possibility. So it's taken to yesterday's Facebook channel uh, due to some little error and reasons. Uh, the match has been uh, <coughs> relayed to you uh, in a quite uh, late. But still, we have uh, the real uh, content here. So we have uh, different uh, uh, here. One is the uh, face here, which also says that the uh, Qatar supporters like this video definitely. Uh, everybody likes it. Uh, in our second T20 uh, match, there are a lot more responses as well. So most of the Qatar supporters are uh, naturally here around the world, definitely they enjoy the match and uh, they always uh, like to uh, see the matches like this. So Satir Rafi is on 39 again and uh, Imam Yankin is on 7 runs, hopefully it's the 74 for the last of 1 minute. Those who are watching this TV YouTube channel are requested to subscribe our channel and be the best for a longer relationship. There will be a lot more games to come. Uh, and yet again, I want to share to comment it on our, on our comment box that the uh, person in this match is definitely a possibility. Already they have passed the 74 runs for 2 wickets, 7 wickets gone now. Imam Niyanke is the man who is out now cut and gold with uh, Frank Nobuga. So, yet another big wicket gone. Uh, 
uh, in this second in, in the second uh, T20 uh, international, Timor Niyanke, who played very well in the innings and who contributed very good uh, runs for his team. Now he is uh, out now, he is caught on board. Frank and Nauku Baba, who got the wicket. So definitely that may be another new batsman. Very tough over and uh, we'll see what the will do the batsman. It's Qatar and then 74 for the last of two. It's a uh, requiring runs are really low. Now it uh, seems to be 61 runs in 69 balls seems to be a very good thing. Uh, so there are a lot more to come to speak to the history of the channel. Those who are watching our channel are first to subscribe to our channel and be with us for a longer uh, uh, support by giving you our entire uh, support to the SPD sports channel. It's, it seems to be a uh, kind of a winning match for Qatar. Apparently, they have plenty of tickets in hand. They have uh, eight tickets in that. And uh, the new batsman to the police is. Definitely, the company John here. So, we'll see what will be the remaining for the action. It seems to be very good uh, <coughs> performance here when compared to the earlier matches. Definitely, there might be a different uh, perspective here. It seems to be a different kind of uh, going on here in this. Uh, Wonderful day. Seems to be uh, Mohammed Tanvir, uh, uh, the new batsman into the quiz. Definitely, there might be another uh, fantastic match here. We'll see what will be the remaining goal action. Definitely, there might be some good results in favor of. Uh, um, Uh, in favor of uh, in favor of Qatar and the Zatif Tikratim and uh, the new batsman to the Chris Mohammed Tanbir, the two batsmen <coughs> sorry in, in the last match itself Mohammed Tanbir contributed some more runs for Qatar so here also he joins with uh, Zatif Tikratim and score a better uh, run for uh, Qatar. Apparently, there is a possibility. Seems to be a quite a winning match, this one. So, it's 3 0 for Qatar and uh, Uganda. Uh, yeah, with the disappointment, they need to go ahead and uh, finishing the uh, series. Actually, there will be a more possibility for the two teams like uh, and uh, seems to be a different scenario here. The required runs are very <coughs> let's say it's totally for the loss of 62 runs or sorry 64 68 runs <coughs> still gettable so they need to get over the point these two batsmen will carry on to finish the thing and uh, the possibilities are there still Stay tuned to FTV Sports Channel, there are a lot more to come. It seems to be a different scenario here. When compared to last two matches, there are tough times in the last two matches, but here it is a very easy match. But still, Qatar lost their, their two second wicket now. So they have some lead uh, as a score of uh, their score. And 67 in the uh, runs required, uh, sorry, 53 runs required in 64. 5.3 runs in per over. It's 10 overs are gone. Remaining 10 overs are there. Still get into STD Sports Channel. Those who are watching STD Sports Channel are perfect to subscribe our channel and be with us for a longer uh, relationship and uh, we have the potential to give all the most of all the matches, especially for the Indians uh, and Indian, uh, not only for India, especially for the entire world. Uh, those who are loving to get our uh, can enjoy the big pair in the SPD sport. Qatar is on um, 82 for the 
and uh, Muhammad Tanvi, who contributed well in the last match, and Muhammad Rizman, Rizman, who is also a very good uh, batsman for Qatar. We will see who will continue and who will take over, and uh, what will be the remaining of the batsman. Followed by the in uh, followed by uh, in a couple of followed in a couple of uh, in, uh, other spend. Uh, maybe uh, yet another picture, yet another over. I will need to wait and the state for uh, knowing the result. Uh, the required runs are very low compared to <coughs> earlier times. It was 51 runs in 56 balls. It's a uh, 5.56 run rate current run rate required run rate is 556. So there may be a more uh, possibility for Qatar to win over. They have a very good batsman in hand. They have the very good bowlers too, so all the rest too. So here we need uh, as a second batting, uh, chasing one uh, for Qatar, it is very really quite possible. And uh, there are plenty of uh, batsmen to come and they are able to have a bit of getting uh, But the small Liam K, who got out for some time, made uh, to have uh, some belief in them in their uh, match today. So even though Qatar, uh, we cannot underestimate Qatar for their uh, entire uh, scenario when we uh, see all those things, still we wait for uh, some more to time uh, to know the answer. But still here it's a very fantastic today. It seems to be a cool day issue too. So it's a very uh, nice and uh, super piece of pollinator. Uh, the atmosphere is quite good and uh, seems to be a different scenario here. And Mokhmu Tanvi, who got six runs so far, Sider Mokhmu and Mokhmu Rafaswan. Mokhmu Islam, who is also scored only one run so far. So uh, definitely it's a very fantastic match. Uh, Qatar can win over again and prove that uh, they are strong enough when compared to Uganda uh, by winning this match 3 mil. Definitely Qatar can be able to do that. Again, uh, there is a possibility for 6 or 4. Yes, it is uh, 4 runs from Mohammed Tanvi. We got a uh, uh, move to his uh, next 10 runs so far. Facing 11 balls, he got 10 runs. We'll see what will be the remaining goals of action. Four runs now. Seems to be a uh, positive side for Qatar. It's uh, 26 for the loss of three wickets now for Qatar. Definitely, they can be able to win over this match and uh, they can be able to prove that they are very strong enough to compare to Uganda by winning this as a 3 win. Still, uh, there may be a lot more to come. Uh, there are plenty of players batsmen for their still, and uh, Uganda will have uh, hard work to uh, will have to work hard to get the wickets here. We'll see what will be the result of action. Uh, so game is again, uh, anything can happen here. So we'll see what will be the result of action. There are a lot more to come. Stay tuned to STV Sports Channel. Those who are watching our channel are first to subscribe to the channel as well. Recommend the same to your friends and family. Not only that, don't forget to press the notification button so that you will get all the notifications regarding the live matches. So you can be able to watch it over from time to time. Stay tuned to STV Sports Channel. Seems to be a different scenario here when compared to the last two matches. Uh, even though uh, Rwanda started the release, uh, finished with the uh, 135. Uh, still, Qatar have the capability of getting all the wins here, and they need only 135 at the initial stage. But now they are at the 91 for three wickets. They need only 44 runs in 46 balls. It seems to be a 48 balls now. Yes. So 5.5 runs required for cover per over. Seems to be a very easy for Qatar to win over. We we'll see what will be the remaining course of action. Actually. The game uh, is already two matches won by Qatar. Uh, first match it was a very good win. Uh, second match also it was a very good win. 
here also there may be there may be a responsibility for winning the game this game also so stata is on 92 for the last of three wickets so we need only 43 runs in in quite uh, 47 balls so it's 6.4 xt uh, and i'm doing that quite increased but still they have the capability and they are so able to win over so a lot more to come stay tuned to it to be exposed to that i think the uh, <clears throat> atmosphere in Europa, but, uh, uh, is a counter tour of Qatar 2020. It's a third T20 match between Rwanda and Qatar. Uh, Qatar um, uh, already uh, participated in Qatar 10 T10 matches also. So we have uh, that those matches also we have already uh, uh, live streamed. Uh, those all matches you can see in Qatar how strong they are. The team, uh, they are they are dedicated. The captain uh, are very much uh, uh, to win over every match. So uh, they are, as far as uh, that um, particular team, the Qatar team is concerned, seems to be a very good uh, and the fantastic uh, atmosphere there at the uh, at the uh, uh, match by match. At the match by match, so they can aim to win over. There are a lot more to come and. Uh, Thanks for watching this TV school channel. Request to subscribe and as well, uh, request to request to recommend the same to your friends and family. It seems to be a different scenario here. Uh, so, Mohammed Tanvi is on 11 runs and uh, uh, Mohammed Nizam is on 4 runs. So, after the uh, few minutes, uh, Mohammed uh, Tanvi got one more run and uh, Mohammed uh, is one. We got uh, three runs, two runs on the board. So it comes to a total of 95 for the last of three. So they are near in Qatar, near in hundreds, under runs uh, today, and uh, it's uh, 40 more runs required. So whether uh, these two batsmen who will hit over all the runs. Uh, so if anything happens, that Mohammed Tanvi will use that metric and go across century. Or else, Mohammed Rizla, who is on and only also able to win over that they uh, are taking some more runs here. So what will be the main for their action? All these things will be uh, uh, regularly um, we need to uh, give you as a uh, best uh, commentary in the coming time, coming another, in the coming hour. So we will stay tuned to the STV Sports Channel and be with us for a longer perspective. Uh, as far as STV Sports Channel is concerned, we need to concentrate uh, especially for cricket games as well. Uh, the games uh, that the uh, cricket uh, in the world, they, love, they are very much uh, enjoying, people are enjoying very much cricket. So, we are able to contribute and we are able to spend and we are able to provide uh, the best uh, matches to uh, person those who are uh, levels of uh, this match is the uh, three uh, uh, games and uh, so stay tuned to STV Sports Channel we are always uh, here to from you all uh, to our uh, entire uh, yes group so stay tuned to be here uh, and Richard as well as all expected uh, Mohamed Tanvi will contribute some more runs for uh, Qatar but here is a uh, fourth wicket gone with uh, Trevor uh, Mutandia, uh, who bowled and Fred uh, Achita, who got as a catch. So, Mohammed Tanmi is uh, for the fourth man uh, for Qatar. It seems to be a uh, uh, positive sign for Uganda. But still, uh, there are plenty of uh, wickets there. Six more wickets uh, there in Qatar, so they can able to go for some more runs. They will see what will be the direction. Uh, there may be uh, some uh, best uh, uh, other scenarios can also happen. Uh, we'll see, wait and see for the uh, last moment. There seems to be a, a 12 overs already been uh, going, it's uh, 13 overs already been going, and then some overs are there. In that, some of the others, uh, uh, Qatar will be 30 so there may be a lot more uh, 
last the last thing uh, important uh, from today seems to be a different scenario so straight to SPP sports channel and uh, it seems to be a tight and uh, there might be some uh, ifs and uh, points uh, there are uh, some possibilities for runouts and some possibilities to be over those all things are going to happen in uh, another seven overs are there in the remaining seven overs definitely the Qatar will uh, go in for big shots to win the match early as well the uh, Uganda will restrict the uh, Qatar batsmen to go uh, get ready so that also can possibly be there and uh, the batting performance as far as uh, Qatar team is Okay, it will come back on the opening. The many levels are still struggling, and even though uh, they have plenty of six more wickets there for Qatar, and Kwanda uh, is also continuing their uh, batting bowling attack. We'll see what will be the remaining uh, bowling action and uh, who will win the match. Uh, those who are watching this TV station are requested to uh, give your comments at the comment box uh, stating that who will win. And the stating that you, know, you are who supporters you are. All those things you can uh, send to uh, STB Sports Channel comment box. We will always be there to uh, give you some good information in the times to come. Stay tuned to STB Sports Channel. We are always with you for live delay of all three three matches around the world to entertain the audience. On there, so it's a very good motive to entertain the audience all, all over the world and make them to act, make them happy. Always, these are our motive. So, definitely, there will be a lot more transactions, especially IPL um, the season. Uh, yes, to here to start now, so starting from March and the April, uh, entirely it was a uh, maybe uh, IPL season. And uh, compared to that, along with, alongside, there is a women E20 matches also, World, World Cup women E20 matches also. There, there may be a lot more, a lot more, um, uh, lot more happiness, entertainment are uh, going to come. Uh, stay tuned to STV Sports Channel. You are requested to subscribe our channel as well. That long the same day, friends and family. It seems to be a Yet another victory for uh, Qatar. There are six more wickets are there still. It's 97 for the loss of four wickets. So stay tuned to STV Sports Channel. So in return to Uganda, 134. Uganda who have scored 134. 134 is the target. And they need only 37 runs for Qatar to win over. It's 36 runs in 37 balls. Uh, run a ball now. So uh, maybe a tight situation for the uh, team uh, seems to be a run about. It's a tough time. But definitely, if uh, Qatar also will have to uh, work hard to get uh, runs here, but as well, uh, there may be some good signs. We'll see what will be the remaining for the match. Actually, it seems to be a different scenario here. And uh, the remaining for the action. We are going to see in a short while ago, stay tuned to ST Sports Channel. And we always request you to uh, recommend our channel to your friends and family. Definitely, if you have possibility and uh, you can able to win over. So, there are a ton of the wicket, uh, it's 99 for the last of four wickets now. So, uh, uh, more wickets are going for uh, one, uh, Qatar. And it seems to be uh, that uh, Qatar is not that much uh, having that potential today. Uh, they are not, uh, seems to be a very good uh, batter today, but still, uh, game is a game, there is a possibility for everything. So it seems to be a different uh, scenario here. Mohammed Tanmir is got out, and uh, uh, the another batsman, when we compare to, uh, uh, when we see that. Uh, uh, another batsman is Kuram, Kuram Chisat, who is also the best batsman uh, <coughs> gone for uh, attack. So it seems to be a different scenario here. Uh, there are a lot more to come and uh, seems to be some more good things happen. 
it's a small arena uh, here where one will be brought out and go for Tandi. The batsman uh, expected is also got out now. Uh, it's Qatar who is on um, 99 runs for the last of 5 wickets selected and only 30 runs, 36 runs in 36 balls seems to be a different entire scenario. So, Puram who already got out uh, with the Makubusa's ball. Uh, we'll see if there is anything will happen. So, stay tuned to the TV Sports Channel of the Tanji out and uh, the next cast month into the series are Mohammed Islam and uh, Kuram Shesad, who is also got out with the uh, Mahu Musa. Uh, we'll see if there is anything for the vaccine. So, time is 9 for 5. So, if another cast is gone, this cast is gone. So, it's uh, five wickets are gone already. Again, but still five wickets are there. Only 35 runs required. Means 36 runs required. Definitely, Qatar has the ability and Qatar can be able to win over. There are not more to come. Stay tuned to STV Sports Channel. Those who are watching our channel are requested to subscribe our channel as well. Not only that, uh, you will recommend our channel to your friends and family. Not only that, you are requested to uh, <coughs> requested to uh, um, press the notification button so that we will have uh, our continuous live relay intimations to our inbox. You can able to. As we all expected, that uh, uh, Qatar uh, is on 110 for the last of eight wickets. 
the thing is uh, definitely here Qatar lost uh, almost uh, every wicket uh, as everybody expected. It was not happened like uh, and uh, seems to be a different uh, uh, scenario right from the beginning. We are uh, checking that uh, how many uh, wickets have gone and that the eight wickets have drawn so we don't have the chance to win. Uh, but still uh, required runs or 25 runs in 10 balls uh, still tight position here so we'll see what will be the remaining point of action uh, all the teams are going uh, for the uh, sake of uh, Qatar uh, sorry for the sake of Uganda this time it is, seems to be like that and uh, we'll see what will be the remaining point of action and uh, the thing is uh, quite different uh, when uh, two minutes later, two uh, minutes later, uh, earlier it was uh, uh, definitely Qatar uh, going to win the match like that. Uh, we have uh, saw, but uh, the thing has changed now. It's totally uh, the other side of the match now. Uh, as we all expected and as we all uh, said that. Uh, again, again is the game definitely what uh, anything can happen like that now it has happened already many pickers are gone so the plenty of pickers plenty of pickers we have shown like that uh, is uh, ruled out now it's already uh, eight pickers gone so remaining uh, with the eight pickers definitely Qatar can win over it seems to be a different scenario here the two batsmen of this quiz now, Payank Arunis Bra and Aris Molik, these two batsmen are at the quiz now to see what will be the remaining goal of action. It seems to be really tight for Qatar, but I think 23 runs in 14 balls is not at uh, present. <coughs> Uh, uh, the okay scenario, but still we, uh, we wish to see that uh, 21 in 12 balls uh, is quite tight to figure. So it seems to be also a basic moment in time. Unabira 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 is also out, so he gets gone. So the next batsman, both the batsmen will come and uh, continue the attack. Uh, we will continue. Who will uh, see? Who will going to make it a very win, very good win for especially um, attack? It's uh, Muhammad Nadim, who is also a very good batsman. Uh, he said the crease now. We'll see whether he can able to win over the matches. Uh, there are a uh, lot more uh, things to be noted that uh, uh, the uh, game-changing moment has taken place for Uganda. Uh, they can able to win this match otherwise. They may uh, still uh, needs to wait for uh, some more time to go in for uh, win uh, the other matches. So here it is a very good sign for Uganda. We can able to go ahead and go uh, for a big uh, win here. Uh, that uh, runs out on the board is uh, already 1-1 one, one for the last of eight wicket with Mohammed Nakim and Avais Avias Avais Moli, the two batsmen at the place for Qatar. Whether they can able to win over this. These things uh, that we used to check it out, and there are a lot more to come in uh, remaining 12 balls. Uh, we'll see what will be there for the vaccine. It's a 21 minutes required in 12 balls. So, 114 now. So, Avios Molik and uh, Mohamed Nadim are at the very good batsmen. But even, uh, even though uh, these two batsmen uh, are uh, near nearly a table test. So will they go for a big shot? Uh, that will be a big question mark here. Uh, so 12 balls are uh, uh, available. Uh, 10.6 points of turnover is not expected. Uh, required to and uh, two will go in for a success and points and the remaining tight and the batsmen so will have to wait to watch. Whether Uganda will uh, go in the slam overs in, uh, in a tight scenario or they can be able to 
about a diverse point are these are the one things that we have to wait and watch as in the Emmanuel Trump. It's already uh, 19 days so far in 10 laws. We'll see what will be the good action here. Uh, it's a uh, one and two are coming nearly. Uh, so it's uh, from 21 to 19 now, uh, 10 balls are remaining. So we can see whether with these 10 balls uh, um, or, 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 or we have a 19 runs uh, or a 16, 19 runs and win over or uh, we'll have uh, other, uh, any other option. We'll have to wait and watch. It's otherwise only. So we've got 4 runs so far and not going to do it. We've got 4 runs equally. And uh, we'll see what will be the amount of that. So 10 balls, 19 runs required, 11.4 runs uh, uh, per over. Uh, the representative are quite equally serious. This is for the last 8 tickets. We'll see if the next ball of action is 19 runs from 10, 10 balls. So 1 over 4 balls are remaining. So we'll see what will be the amount of that action. It seems to be a different scenario here. Both are watching this to this question or trusted to trusted or channel. And be with us for a longer uh, perspective. We are able to give it more uh, games like this. So it seems to be a different scenario in the coming days. With 19 runs required in 10 balls for stars to win over at the third game. And uh, if they win this match, that will be the third game that we have uh, But they will win uh, is the uh, win ratio for Qatar and Uganda. But today is a very good performance by Uganda too. It's 134 and so 116 for 8. But uh, as far as Qatar is at present, so this kind of 8 tickets, taking 8 tickets in a very low score, there seems to be a, a different score, uh, uh, unexpected. So you uh, can put a chaseable podium. And uh, in that scenario, Uganda has got eight because it's quite impressive. But still, Arias Malik and Mohammed Nadim are at the police now. Will they go in for a big shot to win over for the team or uh, will they uh, wait for uh, a moment? Again, yet another wicket here seems to be uh, it's uh, Nadim. Uh, definitely, yet another wicket now. It's ninth wicket gone. So, definitely. Uh, Qatar it seems to be a very tight position now and it's 9 ball remaining. Uh, we'll see what will be the remaining action. Uh, there are a lot more to come. But even though uh, there are balls uh, are uh, no such a big ball there, we'll see what will be the COVID action. It seems to be a different scenario right from the beginning. Everybody is expecting that Qatar will win, but here it's already nine wickets have gone, so definitely it seems to be a quite unnatural and it's only one time. It seems to be a Qatar uh, win by Uganda. Yes, today it's a win by Uganda. Ten runs will win. The first match won by Uganda is with the ten runs on the board now. This is the scenario that uh, uh, we can be able to see. So in the 9 points uh, ratio, definitely uh, entire 9 points, 9 points, uh, the remaining batsman get, uh, gets 9 points. But Qatar, uh, 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 even by win shoot, of course, uh, they are won uh, by 10 runs uh, like that. So we'll see what will be going on for the last. It seems to be a different scenario here. Right from the uh, starting, it was the uh, it was a possible sign for uh, Qatar uh, to win over uh, till uh, the end of the uh, 16th over, something over. But at the same time, uh, suddenly the game has changed, and uh, now it's Uganda won by uh, some 18 runs. So it seems to be a different scenario here. The first match that Uganda won the match. Seems to be a different for uh, different atmosphere and different experience for both the team. Those who are watching us to this portion are our subscriber channel and be with us for a longer perspective. And we are expecting your uh, entire support for uh, uh, giving uh, fantastic matches in the coming days as well as IPLC 
agency has to start now and uh, immense uh, people who watch international level uh, between the immense uh, people who watch it so we have to start from tomorrow on the tour there are some more warm-up matches tomorrow after that there is a uh, super league matches definitely seems to be a good team scenario and there are a lot of three reactions you have to come from the SPD sport channel those who are watching SPD sport channel are just to subscribe and be the best for a longer perspective and we be always sure that we definitely uh, we can define the entire audience around the world we need to do that and we set up more focus so it seems to be a very different uh, atmosphere with a different human techniques and different uh, uh, seems to be a different uh, programs in the coming years so stay tuned to this to this for channel uh, and uh, support us for a longer uh, relationship and longer partnership uh, thank you for watching so far and uh, we always uh, support uh, uh, the subscriber as well the videos Definitely, if they are not there, definitely we are not there. Definitely, seems to be a, a, another a good a combination, good relationship. So, uh, stay tuned to STB for all the matches. We are always uh, be there to entertain each and everybody. Today, we want to win the match by 10 to 18 times. We the first match that we want to win, and that seems to be a different uh, scenario at the end of the. 18 and 19 goal. So there are a lot more matches uh, as well as IPL seasons and as well there are a lot of matches in uh, the in the International World Cup. So there are a lot more to come and uh, we do best and we stay uh, with the STV Sport Channel. We are always looking for a lot more entertainment uh, to, to, uh, to, make, to make pleasure of each and every uh, audience and viewers. It will be a very different scenario and uh, expecting all the support right, throughout the other uh, <coughs> part that, that we are going to step in. Thank you for watching this TV Sport channel and uh, we are expecting everyone to be the best for a longer perspective. And uh, thank you for watching and don't forget to uh, subscribe our channel and support us. For a long more, uh, for a, for a lot more uh, games to come, and this IPA season is to come, and there are IPA, ICC, World Cup, T20, International. There are a lot more games to come. We are ready to entertain everybody around the world. This is our logo. We are at the at the index to keep you whatever you want. Definitely stay tuned to the STV support channel. This is the first match that we want to win uh, with the uh, AP runs and uh, 3 2 1 is the ratio of the series for uh, won by Qatar. Anyhow, Qatar won the series and it's uh, three uh, series, uh, three matches series. And it's uh, two, 2 is 1 is the ratio for uh, Qatar. Seems to be a different scenario. Thank you for everybody who are watching this video. Thank you everyone who subscribed our channel and also requesting everyone to do the same at the end of our channel to your friends and family. So thank, thank you for each and everybody for all your love and support. Thank you once again and this is all for the for the today's uh, in, uh, Yes, from our best. Thank you for supporting. So keep supporting, keep subscribing. We will always be entertaining you all in the remaining days to come. Thank you and see you again. Thank you.